Hi everyone, Shane here. I hope you're all well, alive and kicking. Uh, it'll soon be that funny time, Christmas Day again. Anyhow, I've got a, a, a follow-up video today to my last video that I made regarding this gun, the SMK PR900W. But I've still not uh, decided whether it's regulated or non-regulated. But um, one tin of my pellets came today. My rule of thumb is when I get any gun, I always do a series of shooting lots of different brands of pellets through the barrel to find out what the gun likes. So today's video on the shooting section could, could really be hit and miss. Uh, it may shoot rubbish or, or I may shoot rubbish. Anyway, this is my first sponsored video and it's been sponsored by Fiachi. They sell a range of products, if you type them in on the internet or uh, on Google, Fiachi, uh, you will see what they sell, bipods, scopes, gun slings, they sell uh, a multitude of uh, gun related things and uh, above anything else when it comes to shooting uh, I'm pretty keen on value for money, good value for money, which is why I do videos on guns like this, what you can pick up for less than 300 pounds well i think i think at the moment as we speak you can pick this gun up for 230 pounds and if it shoots half decent then you've got a fun day so also a future video of mine i will uh, show you some of the fiachi products later in this video but in the next 10 days or so um i've got a, a very good deal i'm not paid to say this nobody's asked me to say this i'm just telling you because if you've got a bit of spare cash it's a funny old time in the world at the moment greed has taken over a lot of things whether it comes to food your electric gas bill or whatever if you can save a few quid here and there then uh, that's what it's all about I had my eye on a pistol we'll, we'll feature this in a few videos to come but um, basically I've ordered a pistol I won't go into too many details but um, I phoned around the gun shops and the one I normally use Solware and I phoned three or four gun shop I looked on Palpax's site and uh, the same gun on there was 200 pounds cheaper than anywhere else so the wife the wife said oh would you like it for Christmas bearing in mind I've had quite a lot of stuff already and I said oh yes please so uh, she got on the phone and uh, ordered me this gun that I'm yet to receive but I believe in the next 10 days or so I'll have it and then I'll have a review on it and then I'll be using some of the free products I've been sent by Fiachi um, to put it to the uh, test. So in today's video, getting back to this gun, the SMK PR900W, I'm going to stick it through the crony. Now I've got some what I presume are half decent pellets, hopefully they will uh, suit the barrel and uh, make me out to be a half decent shooter, but I'll be shooting in my own garden which is very short, so I may change this scope put one of my new ones, one of my free scopes on, my little red dot sight. And um, last night I thought, okay, I'll prepare for today's video and I charged all my camera equipment and my lights and all the rest of it, despite it being a grey old day, it's minus three, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not. Saturday dinner time, minus three, grey sky, pretty, pretty what you'd expect in the winter in England, but no rain and no strong wind, so that's one consolation. But um, last night I've got a diver's bottle, I filled this gun up ready, I took it to 180 bar, just under 200 bar, and then I pulled the probe out, released the pressure in my whip, pulled the probe out, and then it had a leak. And it was leaking somewhere at the end where the probe goes in. Now I'm not sure if it was the actual seal on the ring at the end here, or something internal. So I've got a screwdriver, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but I've got a screwdriver where the probe goes in, use that to uh, counter lever it, turn it anti-clockwise, it wasn't very tight, and uh, I unscrewed it, and in the centre of the short tube with the threads on, was like a brass type screw, I undid that, pulled that out with a little disc on it, and um, the rubber seal, it, the o-ring looked fine but they looked like there was maybe one little tiny piece of a brass splinter or something so um, I flicked that off with my nail and then 
put it all back together thinking it's probably good, it's gonna still leak I know, I know my look the way these things go and uh, did it back up nice and tight filled it up left it overnight and it's still up to 180 bar I don't know how well this camera will even focus this but we'll do some pellet testing I'll only shoot about I don't know six eight shots we'll, we'll get a ballpark figure on what it's doing and um, and then I'll rip this sight off it I won't rip it off I'll carefully take my Nico Sterling sight off and then mount one of the, the new uh, my new freebie ones that uh, when I've decided what I want I will keep and uh, the spare ones I will give away to one of you lucky people and they're, they're ideal for little guns pistols or um, I don't know if you've got a short garden like me and you don't want to use a scope or your scope won't focus that close and these red dot sights are ideal but as I say that Fiatchi they do several other products including bipods gunslings I'll show you a few clips off the uh, off the website but amongst anything one thing you can say is the very good value for money that's what I'm all about have fun but try not to uh, try not to clear the bank account out right then I've got my somewhere here I think it's for paintballing but it does air guns it's not sophisticated but it does work and uh, it's not a bad bit of kit for the money I can't remember I think I paid about 60 pounds for it a couple of years ago so uh, I'll be using this tell you what the foot per second of the uh, projectile is in this case the pellet we'll work out from that what foot per second because this gun claims to be full power so if it's doing anywhere around 10 plus I'll be quite happy if he's doing something like six or seven I won't be quite so happy right let's carry on right seven shots coming up I've set the uh, set the chrono to 5.5 and I put the weight in 1.03 grams because this works in grams not grains just loading the first pellet and I'm, I'll be aiming at the uh, frozen grass here goes first shot Five fifty-seven point eight. Second shot. Five fifty-four point three. Third shot. Five fifty-five point seven. Put it in the hole. Five twenty-four point one. Probably wasn't holding the uh, the end of the barrel close enough, maybe. So this time I'm resting the gun on my shooting sticks. I, I forgot I even own these things, you know. I stuck them in the corner of the spare bedroom, uh, never to be seen again. But I was going to rig a table up and all that and I thought well the shooting sticks won't be as accurate as a table as a real good rest but they'll be better than my arms that's for sure so I'll put a new target in and now we're going to do them rested and hopefully eight shots will fit under a two pence piece because I, I think the gun's capable of it but the pressure's a bit low I could really do with filling it up but I'm not going to bother it's on 130 bar so I'm going to shoot eight shots. They may come down each shot with the power. I haven't worked out how many uh, good shots you get from a fill yet. I'll do that in the future. In the near future, um, we've got a lot of reviews to do at the moment, but the target's in there. This time, eight shots rested. The gun's running low. It's on a. It's on about hundred. Hmm, don't know, hundred and twenty bar maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll give it eight shots. We'll rest it on this. On these gun sticks that I haven't used for a while. Blimey, that's bright. Come on, focus on one glasses, you little devil. That's it. Right. Here we go, first shot. Slightly high. 
single shot tray in this uh, in this gun. I don't normally use. I've never used a magazine in it. I've got two, but I like single shot tray. Gives you more time to compose your shot. Very close. <clears throat> Very bad one that was. I didn't pull it as such, but the gun did lower as I pulled the trigger. But it's still a good shot, but not as good as the last two. Yes, you definitely want to see these pallets as pounders. Same hole, I think that one was. I'm left handed, you see. I'm using my right hand to put pallets. I've got a plaster on my finger because I've got a splinter in it. Same all again. Last shot, number eight. Game over, eight shots, and I think they're all going to fit under a two pence piece quite easily. Well, oh, I'm really happy with those pellets, and this gun likes them. Well that's the uh, target I've just shot, resting my gun on those uh, gun sticks and uh, 2p piece of cake. So the gun is most definitely accurate. For the money, who can complain? 230 quid, 2p. I, ain't, I haven't got, I'm not rich enough to have a 5 pence and a 2 pence, but uh, I'm pretty sure, let's see if I can find one or, or even a penny. Um, let's give it a tester. Well there's a one pence piece and there's a little bit sticking out on the left hand side so it doesn't genuinely cover it. It's not Olympic standards by any any uh, shot but um, yeah I'm happy with that. It was wobbling about a little bit on the old shooting sticks but it's better than I could have done with uh, with my bare arms as it were unrested. So thanks for watching this video. Any comments as normal, put, it, put them in the bottom and I'll try and answer them. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And um, you all take care and there will be, I've got quite a few videos lined up um, of Zabroyas. I've got the pistol on its way. You all take care everyone and we'll catch you very soon.